Have you ever wondered why people in prison convert to Islam? I was thinking the other day as to how interesting it was that so many people go to prison, come out, and they're saying, I'm Muslim. Enough so that people always make it a meme and a joke like, oh, they went to prison, they're gonna come out Muslim. And I thought of it and I was like, wait a minute, I wonder what the real reasons are. Islam is the fastest growing religion around the world. And it being the fastest growing religion on the world, it makes sense that maybe people convert to Islam in prison. And I was like, okay, that's the first step. What's next? Prison is somewhere where you have so much isolation. You're alone. There's a lot of self-reflection and thinking. So it made me realize that when people are going through self-reflection and thinking, they're gonna have to kind of dive deep in and really think about themselves, their actions, and what they're doing. Cause they really don't have much else to do because again, they're in prison. They're gonna be searching for this identity, this purpose, because again, naturally when you're alone, you're isolated, you're gonna have that experience regardless of where you are. A lot of people when they go to prison actually end up going through a spiritual awakening. They end up actually kind of, again, self-reflecting, really thinking about their life, their journey, what's going on. And in the meantime, as that's happening, the Muslim population in prison starts to go up and up. So there's a sense of brotherhood. So there's people around them that are living their life a certain way. So you tend to see different groups, different societies, different cultures within the prison system. And even though Muslims make up 1% of the society in America, they fill up 18% of our prison system. So you go to wonder, okay, are Muslims just people who end up in prison or people who end up doing this or that? But again, people who go to prison go through experiences. They made a mistake, they may not have made a mistake, they could be there because of a bad case of this or that, a circumstance, that's okay. Again, whatever happens, happens. But when they're in prison, they're going through this spiritual journey. So when they come out, they're a lot better of a person. Take examples like Malcolm X, Mike Tyson, and even rapper like Kevin Gates, who went to prison and come out as a Muslim. And you start to think and wonder, why are these people going to prison and becoming Muslim? An interesting statistic is that 80% of prisoners who find faith in the prison system become Muslim. So think about that. 80% of the people who find faith or convert or become a different religion in prison they go to Islam. And you have to stop and wonder, why do they choose Islam? Islam is a religion in where, again, it teaches that brotherhood, that unity. And when you go to prison, you have to find your brotherhood, you have to find unity, because again, there are cliques in prisons. Everyone sees it in movies, everyone sees it in real life. You have to find your clique, you have to find your niche of people to hang out with and be around, because again, you need a sense of brotherhood to make sure you're protected and that you're not gonna get harmed by the society that prison has. According to a 2003 estimate by the FBI, there are 350,000 Muslims in federal state prisons and 30 to 40,000 new converts are happening every year in these prisons. So again, that statistic is pretty large. That's a great amount of people that are converting to Islam. And again, I stopped and think and wonder, why is it that when they go to prison, they feel this way? And I started thinking that maybe because that in prison, you're distracted from dunya. When you're distracted from the dunya, you're living a whole new reality when you're in prison. You don't have much to do. You're literally in prison. There's not the amenities around you. There's not a sense of purpose or goal or value system that the dunya will kind of put upon you. You're kind of living in your own world, your own little bubble. And in doing so, it makes you wonder, is being detached from the dunya gonna allow them to become more spiritual, to become more awakened, to, again, go after reading and go after different things and find out their purpose, find out their why. And with Islam being such a logical, scientific, and emotional faith, and where you have multiple layers to it and levels of understanding, it makes sense as to why people will pick up the book, read it, and really comprehend and understand it. Because again, it's a guidance, it's a guidance to life. And it's great because again, when someone comes out Muslim and leaves the prison system that way, they're gonna instantly already be in a brotherhood on the outside they're gonna have other Muslims that they can interact with. And Islam is a religion of peace. It's not promoting barbaric things. And anyone who actually is reading the Quran, reads the scripture, reads Sahih Bukhari, reads the hadiths from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they understand this as well. And again, that's why Islam is the fastest growing religion. It wouldn't be the fastest growing religion if it didn't have purpose, if it didn't matter, if it didn't stand on truth. And again, people might think like, oh, they're just joining and being Muslim because they can get away from the gangs and they have a group. But studies have shown that the people who are converting to Islam in prisons, it's actually seeing a positive correlation and effect on their life. And then even after they leave and how much better they become after. So again, converting to Islam in prison might be seen as this, oh yeah, it's a joke, it's a meme but it's true and it's happening and it's a good thing. It's a good thing for the prison system and it's a good thing for when they leave the prison system and they're out in the real world. Again, some popular people who have basically went into prison and came out Muslim were people like Mike Tyson, Kevin Gates, and Malcolm X. And then again, these are three different categories of what they do in life, but look at how all those differences and they still kind of came out with that same spirituality level. Mike Tyson always dropping gems. Malcolm X and even Kevin Gates, even though he started a car battery with his hands or whatever it was, he said he became Muslim. And that's dope. Like, I think that's awesome because again, it's showing the level of they're learning something. They're becoming more spiritual. They're becoming more inclined with 
their true self. And it's an amazing thing to see more and more people going to Islam because again, as someone who's born Muslim, I never understood the beauty behind it until I watched people become Muslim in front of me. And I'm like, to see them starting to pray, to see them doing all the fasting, doing all these things, it's like, wow, this religion is a religion of power, peace, and to allows you to be genuinely prosperous in this life and the next. It's interesting because even in the prison system, there's a sense of discipline and structure where they wake up at a certain time, sleep at a certain time. There's yard time at a certain time, there's dinner at a certain time. And it's cool because in Islam, we have five daily prayers and it's all structured at a certain time. So it sounds strange, but the prison system almost makes it a lot easier. Because think about it, you're sitting there having all these things planned out, then you can also plan out your prayers pretty easily. Because again, you have less opportunity to do other things. There's less distractions. So you're able to focus more on your spirituality and faith, which makes a lot of sense. Also, something that people would do in prison, again, is seek guidance, seek repentance. They want to make do for the mistakes they might have made. And it's no better time to do that than to talk to your Lord and your Creator and be able to say things like, I'm sorry, God, for what I've done. And then in Islam, that's such an important part of our religion is to ask God for forgiveness. And when you become Muslim, all your past sins vanish. So it's an amazing thing in where if you take the step to becoming closer to God, God will take so many more steps closer to you. So again, in prison, it shows kind of the system of it allows for that experience to actually happen. And that's something I was thinking about recently. And it's an amazing thing to see people become intellectually curious about new religion, new faiths and values. Some might say it sucks that it took them to go to prison to realize it. But again, the word of God, the word of the truth is going to come to you no matter where you are. As long as it's gotten to you, read, take scripture notes, understand about it. Because again, it's important. Learn about it. Because again, there has to be a reason as to why people are. And when you notice that it's the fastest growing religion, you start to think, you know what? Maybe there is some truth to this. Let me learn about it. Let me watch some videos about it. Nowadays, more than ever, in the age of technology, the age of information, we can search up so much. Please take advantage of it and search up different things. Ask questions about Islam and please leave comments down below and ask me personal questions. I might be able to answer. If not, I can answer it. I can refer you to someone who can answer it. So again, I thank you guys again for tuning in and I really do appreciate it. It's amazing that people in prison are becoming Muslim and it's so amazing to see more and more brothers and sisters. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate you guys and inshallah, I'll see you next Friday.